Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks Pittsburgh Penguins makeover edition continues today with a small trade between the two teams and I'll read it right from the press release. Patrick Alvin, the GM, announced today that the club acquired defenseman Mark Friedman and forward Ty Glover from the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for Jack Rathbone and Carol Plasic. I would like to thank Jack for all the time he spent with our organization and always pushing hard when competing for a spot. It has been a tough couple of years for him and this will give him a fresh start. The two players coming back to this trade will add to our depth as we continue to look at ways to improve our organization. So yes, uh, I I guess it's a, over a half dozen former Penguins now on this roster. Obviously Rutherford and Alvin coming from that organization and they, they know these players, they've drafted these players, they've used to scout these players. So they feel obviously very comfortable with whoever's running the Pittsburgh Penguins right now to be able to trade with them so often. So let's talk about Friedman first, Mark Friedman, the defenseman, who's probably the most important player in this deal. Right shot defenseman. That's what you need to know first. Right shot defenseman, 5'11", 185, so average size. 27 years old, born on Christmas Day, actually, which is kind of cool. And then he was a third-round draft pick back in 2014. Spent two and a half years with Philly after he got drafted by them. Then the last two and a half years in Pittsburgh. And only uh, last season, he split his time between between Pittsburgh and their AHL affiliate. And in Pittsburgh, he had 20, he played in 23 games. He had a goal, two assists, three points, 15 penalty minutes. So not massive, um, but you could argue probably an upgrade over Noah Julson if Ethan Bear isn't coming back soon. Um, then, yeah, then you can line up Hronik, Myers, and then Friedman on the back end, or at least he'll provide some depth to the battle with, with Julson if they don't put any lefties on that right side. So 65 career games over the five years, and he has four goals, eight assists, 12 points in those 65 games and 49 penalty minutes. And just from the press release, it says, yes, that Friedman 27 split the 2022-23 season between the Penguins and their AHL affiliate. Yes, and then I talked about the, the his stats already. So he's also played in six playoff games with the Penguins, and he has a goal in those six playoff games. From Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, uh, drafted, like I said, by Philly in the third round back in 2014. So that is a bit about Mark Friedman. Looking forward to seeing what he can do. Um, so, yeah, he's, uh, from what I've seen, I sh and I, I should probably do a bit more scouting on this, but uh, decent skater that I've seen. He, he can actually 12 points in 65 games isn't that bad. It's like a point every five games. So, that's yeah that's extrapolated to about 15 points over a full 15 is 17 points or a full regular season so this is definitely a depth signing he makes 775 grand um this season so he's on a the second year of a two-year contract paying in 1.55 so yeah 775 last year so his cap it is 775 grand and as I've, I've talked about before all these depth guys are all between 750 and 900 grand so we will see what he does we will see if he actually gets inserted in the lineup i know we've been talking about maybe ethan bear coming back to the cox later this year but for now mark freeman may be looked at to cover some of those minutes then ty glover this is funny i watch a lot of street basketball balls life and ty glover is actually a player on the balls life uh west coast squad but that, that's something else so ty glover the hockey player he's 23 years old six foot three 200 pounds so decent size and he got he went undrafted um so he last year uh, it says that glover collected 12 points seven goals and five assists so 12 points and 15 penalty minutes in 49 games with i can never say is it the wilkes barry scranton penguins that's a weird it's wilkes dash barry slash scranton so all three names uh that's their, the pittsburgh ahl team and then he spent two years with western michigan university 32 points over 63 games so a point a point five points per game player in in university and has not played in the nhl just yet so he signed an entry-level contract with the penguins and as an undrafted free agent so like i said i mean i didn't look up his cap hit but i'm sure it's in that 750 775 grand um area as well so to me you look at the two players coming back friedman and glover friedman i think has a shot to make this lineup, especially with our with our weaker right side, um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he actually gets in and they put him on the main roster right away, and if that means no Juleson ends up getting sent down back to Abbotsford. Juleson hasn't looked great. It's only been two games, so maybe I'll have a better opinion of Juleson after tonight's game 
against the Philadelphia Flyers. So that's a bit about the guys coming here. Mark Friedman, right shot defenseman, 27 years old. Ty Glover, center, undrafted, 23 years old. Expect Freeman to battle for minutes on the big Canucks. Expect Ty Glover to go straight to Abbotsford. Now let's talk about the two players that are going back. Jack Rathbone, actually Carl, uh, Carol Plastic, we can talk about quickly because I don't know anything about him aside from that we drafted him in the fifth round in 2019. Last year, I think he played in Europe. He didn't even play in Abbotsford. He played in Abbotsford two seasons ago. So he looked like he didn't. It wasn't in the Canucks plans for sure. Jack Rathbone, this one's a little tough because you guys know ever since the Canucks drafted him way back in 2017 in the fourth round, I've always liked Jack Rathbone. We, we talked about his hockey smarts, uh, going to Harvard. We talked about his great skating, concerns about his defensive game. But we, I even called him Quinn Hughes light for a period of time. I probably shouldn't have done that because uh, uh, obviously not, not very similar. A similar skill set, but not similar in ability. Let's put it, let's put it that way. Now, I know, do you guys remember when there was, there was a fear that Jack Rathbone wouldn't even sign with us, that he would finish his college time and then go somewhere else as a free agent? And there was a lot of angst, and we were really, really hoping that, we, that Rathbone would decide to sign here. We got excited when Rathbone signed here, but he just never, ever um, broke out here. He uh, was given an opportunity over a few seasons. He got to play in 28 Canucks games spread over three seasons. I think one of them was the bubble season, too. Um, and then he had five points. He had two goals, three assists, and five points in those 28 games. And and obviously in sheltered third-pairing minutes. So we wouldn't expect him to to go crazy in terms of offensive production. Even though he did have an offensive mindset. He was a great skater, really good skater. That was the best part of his game. And he showed some offensive awareness for sure. But he had he suffered through a couple injuries. But more importantly, his defensive game simply wasn't there. He um, his I said, he's got a good hockey IQ. He's a smart guy. He went to Harvard, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it was our system or our personnel or just who he was playing with, he never seemed to really click whenever he was in the Vancouver Canucks lineup. And not only some defensive mis uh, mishaps, but even a lot of turnovers too in the, in the neutral zone. I remember thinking to myself that for such a good skater, he's not really the best passer. He doesn't even have the, a great outlet pass. He's great if he skates it out himself. But he never had a really good breakout pass coming from his own zone. So there, I think there's a lot of potential there with Jack Rathbone. But uh, but certainly there wasn't enough for the Canucks to keep him. And even Alvin says this about, about Jack Rathbone. I'd like to thank Jack for all the time he spent with our organization. And always pushing hard when competing for a spot. It's been a tough couple of years for him. And this will give him a fresh start. So Alvin, even in his press release, said that, uh, you know, that Rathbone would compete hard. But it hasn't been... Uh, 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 easy years for him so for the gm to say that right in the press release you well a it's probably true and b uh i think they really liked him and they, they really hope that they, you try and position it where it's a win-win where you're doing good by the player as well so it's too bad but uh i, I got to meet jack rathbone a couple times I, I liked him a lot but uh, we'll now have to cheer him on in the pittsburgh penguins organization along with Carol plastic but more importantly coming back mark friedman and ty glover one defenseman and one center. Canucks fans, let me know about this trade. Let me know if you're okay with us becoming the new uh, Pittsburgh Penguins 2.0 and uh, two shows tonight. I'm on Game Over Vancouver after the early three o'clock start. So about six o'clock, I'll be on with, uh, I'll bring Parker on for, um, for Game Over Vancouver. And then I have my own show tonight on this channel at 11 p.m. So I hope to see you at both shows tonight. Look for the Game Over on the Steve Dangle Podcast Network, SDPN right here on YouTube as well. But let me know your thoughts about this trade in the comments below. Shout out to my sponsors, Vanseed Experts Real Estate, Perform, Transform, Personal Training, Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovalander, legendary Andrew Chang, and Hall of Fame franchise members as well. Thanks for your support. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. On your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and definitely leave a comment your thoughts on this trade. Stay safe, stay healthy, Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. See you at 6 p.m. for Game Over Vancouver. See you at 11 p.m. for my own show, Clay's Canucks Commentary. God bless and go Canucks go.